Ben Passy, a Johns Hopkins geochemist, is part of an international team exploring the dietary habits of some of our pre-human relatives through teeth they left behind almost two million years ago. The teeth of early human ancestors are studied simply because they're preserved more often and they're more diagnostic. The tooth enamel preserves the original dietary signal. Passy wants to understand the link between the creature's dietary choices and their eventual fates in the chain of evolution. It's very interesting and, and it seems to have been a hallmark of most early human relatives that they were able to get out of the forest and use the savanna resources. And so that's why this study is very interesting. And here's an example of a species that apparently was not able to do that. In order to determine what these beings ate for dinner 2,000 millennia ago, Passy used a laser to analyze the chemical composition of their tooth enamel. We use a laser, an infrared laser, to zap a tiny portion of the tooth surface and that's smaller than the size of a pinhead. That liberates carbon dioxide from the tooth and then we analyze the carbon isotope composition of the tooth enamel and infer the carbon isotope composition of the diet of the ancient hominid. Through his study, Passy is providing evidence of the link between early human ancestors' diets and their eventual fate in the evolutionary chain. At what point in our evolutionary history did we start making use of grasses, either directly or by eating animals that eat grasses? We're very fortunate because carbon isotopes gives us a perfect tool to look at this because the composition of grasses is so unique compared to forest-based and non-grass food resources.